No good, I know. <laughs> Dear beloved children in Christ, brothers and sisters, members of our beloved church of the three parishes, St. Mary's, St. Peter the Apostle, and St. Thomas, the uh, St. George the S Martyrs. Of course, St. Peter is Knanaya. That's why we have also His Eminence, Morseverios, the Archbishop, and the Chief Metropolitan of the Knanaya Archdiocese with us. No matter what parish you belong to, you are members of the same church, of the Syrian the Church of Antioch, of the church that Christ established some 2,000 years ago at the hands of the Holy Apostles, especially St. Peter the Apostle in Antioch. I'm happy also to greet and to bless all the friends and visitors of our parishes here from different Malayali churches and institutions who are with us tonight. It's so great to be with you all. And we cannot thank God enough for giving us this opportunity to be with you and to celebrate together this holy divine liturgy. We are happy to be in a country that has been since its establishment uh, an oasis of peace and tranquility for its dwellers and for the people who reside here, all living together in harmony and in peace. And we ask the Lord to bless this country, of Kuwait, to bless the rulers, the uh, citizens, and all those who live on this blessed land, and to make his peace always dwell in this land and in the entire world. Our dearest children in Christ, we come to you from Damascus, the oldest continuously inhabited city in the world, where our patriarchal headquarters are for the last several decades. We come to you while rejoicing in seeing you. We also carry with us the pains and the aspirations of your brothers and sisters of the Christians and the Muslims in Syria who have been living under tremendous difficulties for the last six years because of this war which is raged on them. We ask you to pray for Syria, to pray for the people of Syria and Iraq also as they try nowadays to celebrate our villages in the north of Mosul in the Nineveh Plain and the city of Mosul itself. We hope and pray very soon we will be able to go to Mosul and to once again pray at St. Ephraim Cathedral which was desecrated by the enemies of, 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 of God and the enemies of life, those who hate life. They took the church, they desecrated it and changed it into other uses and they destroyed many monuments there. We hope and pray we'll be able to go soon to, to rededicate that beautiful and the largest church in the city of Mosul, Mora Frame Cathedral, and together with the Archbishop there and the clergy to offer our gratitude to God. This visit to you, my brothers and sisters, comes and, and the invitation of his, his eminence, Morseverios, and the clergy, and the parish councils, and the organizations of these beloved parishes here in Kuwait. It's our <laughs> visit to you, and although we are not able to organize it the way we wanted to in order to make it a beneficial one for you and to try to get to acquire a piece of land for our church because of the shortage of time we're not able to do that therefore we sh cut this visit short we made only two days to come and see you to bless you and to ask for your prayers for us personally and for the entire church and we are happy that we were able to come we will be with you tonight and tomorrow all day until Saturday morning. And I promise I will come back again, hopefully soon. Come back again to obviously enjoy your tremendous love towards my weak self, which I take as a, an appreciation for the fathers of the church who served our church, whether in Antakya or in Malankara for the many centuries, self with, without, with, with selfishness and 